All right, guys, welcome to the video. Um, thanks for being here. You guys have been around the channel for a while. You've seen this spot before. Went out there a couple times with the uh, with the S7, and it's visually mind-altering, this spot. It's unbelievable. The view, the 360 view, it's just amazing. The video doesn't know justice, of course. It's, a, it's an epic spot, but it's also pretty wild to get in and out of there. It's always been windy when I'm there. Um, you got to watch, you know, the air coming down that that uh, mountain and then off the front of it, there's a big downdraft there. So you either got to, you know, maintain a little speed or come in and drop in from some altitude, land a little long. There's a couple of things you can do to avoid it. But winds are strong up there and you don't have the power to, uh, you know, to climb out of them as well as you do, of course, at lower altitude. So I want to take the BLT out there um, and see if I can do it. Uh, being naturally aspirated, it's it's going to be a challenge. And there is some weather today. There's some weather in route. There's some weather down in that area. I'm trying to kind of plan the right time to work around it. We'll see if we can get in there. Enough of that. I'm going to hop in the plane and uh, head that way. See what happens. Top of the world here, 1,500 feet. 
the Badlands Traveler Titan 340. <laughs> so this is pretty wild. The view up here is just absolutely insane. I'm going to get the drone out if I have time. There's definitely some weather that I'm watching out for. Um, so, you know, I kind of got to be mindful of this weather. It is a little windy. This is not a place you want to get stranded or have an issue, obviously. So I am very much out here on a pinnacle. So, but anyway, it's here. <laughs> Half the battle is done, right? thousand five hundred feet. Here we go. Well, mission accomplished. It went pretty well. Definitely had some weather to work around. When I got down there, it was getting a little sporty and I had to waste some time and fly around and just kind of let that storm move out a little bit and then kind of snuck in in between cells, came around kind of the backside and uh, felt it out. You know, it felt pretty stable, pretty good. Definitely some wind up there, but it was stable. And so went ahead and landed. I'm trying to compare it to when I was up there in the S7. And I, I'll be honest, I haven't gone back and watched the footage from the S7. So this is all from memory. Wind was probably comparable, temperatures comparable. Um, my takeoff roll was probably, I, I wanna say I it was a little bit longer in the BLT. 
uh, again from memory, but not bad. But my climb was definitely nowhere near the S7. The S7 up at that altitude still climbed absolutely insanely good. And the BLT at 12.5, you know, you know, you're feeling it. So perfectly capable of doing it, as you saw. Um, but definitely, you know, you could feel that, that difference in performance. Um, I actually was showing about 18.9 inches of manifold pressure, if I remember correctly, which is really surprisingly high for that altitude. So I don't know if my gauge is a little off. Um, I did calibrate it where I live here at 6,800 feet, and I have it set just right here. So, you know, hard to say what that means, but uh, that's good manifold pressure for up there. Between the weather and the altitude, you know, it's like, eh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not totally sure how this will go. Uh, once I got there and felt it out, you know, and on the, the, the first approach I made, you know, and then going around, powering up and going around and feeling the performance again, that close to the ground, you know, you kind of get an idea and it was like, yeah, we got this, this will work, you know, and there's, it's, it's long enough up there and you could literally dive off the side. So I knew one way or the other, I could get it to fly. But with the direction of the wind, like before, it, it does force you to have a little bit of an uphill takeoff because it's enough wind, you got to utilize it. And it's not real uphill, but a little uphill and a little uphill at 12.5, you know, you feel it. Uh, pretty cool to get in and out of there without being turbocharged anymore. Um, so that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it. The only, you know, quote unquote advice I could give after m making quite a few landings at high altitude, many, most of them were in the S7, which maintained a lot of power at altitude. It did lose power because I didn't have a constant speed and I had to set up the tune to reduce boost to keep it from overspeeding the engine but it was about half the loss of a naturally aspirated setup. Um, but between your propeller, your wings, your engine, everything, it changes. Your sight picture is a lot different. Uh, so if you're not used to you know, landing and flying up high, keep that in mind. Everything's gonna look different, uh, unless you have a bunch of wind, of course, to lower your ground speed. Thanks guys, this was just a short, fun one. Um, figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, I'm working on the Idaho you know, number two video. I'm, I'm really am. I'm, I'm working on that. So I want to get that out hopefully pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, hopefully we'll keep the content rolling for the rest of summer and into fall um, if the weather will cooperate. So, all right, guys, thanks for being here. You know the deal. Take care. See you on the next one.